are having an amazing day. Thank you to Make-A-Wish for making all this possible for us. Blue eyeshadow, Thank amazing. You. It's cool, huh? Yeah, who, it's fun. Who decided that? Um, I was with my makeup artist Quinn, and I was like, I don't know, I kind of want to do something interesting, and I'm, you know, it's rainy outside, and I want to feel a little bit more summery than the weather is right now. Yeah. So I was like, let's do blue on my eyes. You're bringing the summer, Chloe. I'm trying to. Really? I live in Los Angeles, and I'm here in New York. <laughs> like, come on, summer. <laughs> exactly. Well, how was CFDA's last night? Was it, it was so wonderful. fun? wonderful. It was great. I got to be there with all my friends, and Stuart ended up winning, and it was um, just a really wonderful night to kind of be there with the brand, and, you know, it's been a long, amazing three years yeah. uh, with me and Coach, and it feels just um, like a really fun cherry on top to, to see everyone giving him the recognition that he deserves for rebranding and, and creating, you know, the new coach girl and and uh, creating what the modern coach brand is. And you are the perfect fit. You are, you know, it, it, it just seems effortless. I mean, it totally seems like you and your brand. So how has that collaboration been for the last three years? Like, what has that full collaboration been like? It's kind of been just like that. I mean, you know, when I first came into it, I had never really done any branding like this before. And Stuart, you know, hadn't really had a proper time to do his own kind of make his own mark on a brand yet so we kind of came together in a very youthful way and created what the who the coach girl and what the coach girl is together and so it's partly me it's partly him it's partly coaches amazing um, history behind them and and it's New York you know so we took all these little ingredients and we created you know what the modern coach girl is and it's a real amalgamation of of a lot of different people and a lot of different influences and it's kind of changed over time and you know i think last night was a good depiction of it you know when we had the table with sasha lane and rowan blanchard and um ottawa and like all the people that were at the table it just feels like the coach girl is a very woke you yeah, know what i mean absolutely. understood and and um socially active and aware young woman so I think it's really kind of come into its own you know when I did the DNC I mean when I did DN the DNC with Hillary Clinton we actually wore coaches custom suit at that event so I think Incredible, like yeah. it's been it's been interesting it's been a long three years but it's cool but I love that you're coming into your own voice and like watching yeah. you grow up these last couple of years it's been it's been so fun but yeah. you know I know that you're a huge supporter of the LGBTQ community and yeah. it's pride month mm -hmm. how are you celebrating um, multiple ways. I, I wanted to go home next weekend to, to go back to LA and celebrate Pride because it is going to be so wild and I, I love Pride in LA. It's just something about it that, you know, growing up in LA and having two gay brothers and, and being so um, active with LGBT youth, um, it felt really important for me to be there. So I'm going to try and fly home. But either way, I really want to celebrate uh, Pride weekend here too in New York. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's wild. Everything is, the city is painted in colors and perfectly, yeah. right? 100%. Um, so, why, we're, today we're celebrating James being the new man of mm -hmm. the Coach Fragrance. Why do you think he's a good fit for the brand? Um, I think, you know, he's a very kind of socially aware guy, and I think he's very down to earth, and he, um, you know, tries to stay true to, I think, to who he really is, and he's been through a lot in the public eye, and I think he's really overcome a lot of different things, and he's, uh, He's just a cool guy. I don't think anyone kind of looks at him and goes like, oh, he really holds his lips shut and, and, and you know, doesn't um, say who he really is. You know, I think he's very outspoken. And what is your favorite James Franco movie? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. Pineapple Express? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
okay. I don't know if that says about me, but I, I love Tobey Maguire, and I love that Spider-Man series so much, and yeah. I think he was really good in it. So, <laughs> so That is, like, not the answer I thought you were like, going to say I would all. say Freaks and Geeks, the TV show. Okay. I think that's, like, my number one, probably, actually. He's amazing in that show. Okay, both very good answers. Um, so let's talk about new projects. I mean, you've got so much on the go, um, but November Criminals. Ansel Elgort, you guys mm -hmm. were starring in together. It's coming out later this year. What can you tell us about the project and working with Ansel? Um, you know, it's a really exciting project. Ansel and I got to work together on Carrie when I got to help cast him in his very first movie ever. So I really think I've had like a fun part in seeing him come into his own and you know, a baby driver coming out and stuff. It's, it's, it's cool to see him be a, a leading man. Uh, it's really fun. And then being able to work with him again was great. And it's a really beautiful coming of age story between the two of us. And it involves romance and there's a thriller aspect to it when one of our friends is actually killed. Um, so it's a really, really interesting story we did together. And then, um, you know, after this, I'm starting to film uh, The Widow with Isabelle Huppert, which is an exciting movie. And um, I did a movie called The Miseducation of Cameron Post last year, which hopefully will be coming out in a few months um, or in the new year, which is about Christian conversion therapy. Um, yeah, in the 90s. So, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of stuff on the ball right now, and I'm trying to lay low and also kind of, you know, formulate who I really am as a young woman coming into true womanhood. You know, I'm turning 21 in February, so it's just kind of uh, a lot happening all at once, and it's nice to to feel very in control over where the next few years are going. Yeah. You know? And, and also just you're, you're finding your own voice, you know? Yeah. I feel like you've been doing so many different projects. You can do everything from, you know, blockbuster teen yeah. movie to like the super serious horror movies. Totally. Everything you, mm -hmm. you've become, um, become. But so, um, you're filming a movie right now with Josh Gad, right? Are you filming that? Um, not yet, end of the year. End of the year. Okay, yes, so you still have a couple more projects on the go. Are you I basically am, yeah. booked for I'm the summer? I'm filming one right now that I can't talk about, okay. which is really exciting. And then I start the Isabel Huppert one, and then at the end of the year I do the one with Josh Gad. And then you're also doing, uh, did a horror with Tilda Swinton? Yes, Asperia. Asperia is also coming out soon. Do yeah. You ever, like, <laughs> just forget that you film things? I do. I like. There's moments I go like, wait, oh my gosh, I did like four movies last year and doing four this year and. It's funny, like I had a month off and I was like, it's such a long break. And my mom was like, it was a month, <laughs> Chloe. Like, <laughs> not a long break, but I just, I truly um, and deeply and passionately love acting yeah. and I love filmmaking. And my brother and I are hopefully directing pretty soon together and, and starting a whole new venture in our careers together as co directors. So that's really exciting. And, you know, the, I, I can't even explain just how innovative this year has been for me and how exciting the next year is for me and it's 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 the coolest time I've ever had in my career and it's it's um very surreal yeah. um and and you know it's humbling and it, it's wonderful but it's also it's it's just it's so exciting yeah and I just wake up every day and I'm like god like I have to like pinch myself and realize like wow I'm a 20 year old young woman who is the head of her own career and being able to make her own decisions and have you know adult men and adult women also look you know look to me for their kind of guidance in certain areas in the movie industry and it's just really um, a special time I think you know given the circumstances in America and everything that's going on I think it's I think it's cool that there's young women out there who are able to do things like me like that I'm doing. I mean I'm so proud. Cool. I feel proud of you because I'm also inspired by you too. I mean you're inspiring you. young girls, older girls, same same age girls, that's what it is. But okay. um, lastly because you're such a music fan, yeah. who are your top three for the summer? Um, I'm really into Seagrid right now. Uh, Banks is on tour so she's killing it. Her new album's really really sick. Um, I also really like Dua Lipa. I think her new album's dope and I think Charlie XCX's new album is a really fun one for the summer. Good. So good. Look at that. She just banged it out. I knew it. <laughs> she's my music kid. Okay well warm up. Yeah, Go have fun. Congratulations. Oh it's so warm in the city. I love you. Oh no. Diamond dream. Cha cha. Holiday sun. A picture. Planet Earth. Pretty sexy. Big money.